This episode was recorded live at Eat Denver in the podcast studio. Thank you to the podcast crew at Eat Denver, especially Dan and Aaron. We rolled for two hours and rotated guests in and out. This is part three with Jesse Pollock from Base. Thanks for sitting down with us to chat about all the base things happening at Eat Denver. Come on in. Now you've got a choice. You can be at the purple one or the blue one. I'm going to let you choose. It's up to you. It's up to you. Oh, all right. I knew it. Obviously. I knew it. Had to be blue for base. I had to be. Had to be. So just pop your headphones on. Make sure you're pretty close to the mic. I know you've done this a zillion times, but. Yeah, this one. So yeah. No, nope, not that. Not that mic. This mic. Uh, and just you can adjust kidding, it. Don't worry about this thing. It'll fall off. It's fine. Um, it's Hello, barely on. Everybody. It's okay. We just like to brand. And now we're here with Jesse Pollock from Base. You guys are happy. Don't worry about it. You guys are having an amazing Eat Denver. Can you tell us a little bit about what you've been doing at Eat Denver? What's been going on and what is happening in the next couple of days? Yeah, I mean, uh, last year was when we launched Base. Uh, so uh, I guess not the main net, but we announced Base uh, to the world um, uh, right before Eat Denver last year. And it was wow. awesome, like coming out for us. Uh, we, we were in the basement at Eat Denver. I don't know if you guys went there, but yeah. like, it was hidden away. And it was in the basement. It smelled like cow dung the whole time. Um, but it was awesome. It was a vibe. We loved it. Uh, this year, here we are a year later. Base main now. Out of the basement. Base is out of the basement now. Yeah. I, I mean, I love it. Like, that's bottom. it. It's like, started at the, the bottom. bottom. Like, now, now we're here. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> but, you know, last year it was like, we didn't know what people were going to say. We didn't know how people were going to react. I think a lot of my energy was just like trying to convince people that we were serious about what we were doing. Yeah. Um, this year, we're six months into the mainnet launch. Obviously, have had a ton of traction and it's success. And I think it's, you know, the goal is to just keep being here on the ground with builders. I like to joke that um, we have this uh, booth area and I have an electric collar on me and they don't let me leave. Like, I actually had to get permission to leave here. You had to get permission <laughs> to come on. <laughs> Like let you him go. You have to let stay him go. in the blue box oh, talking to builders the whole time. We stopped by yesterday and didn't see you. you, you I, I think you were on a well, like that, you go to the bathroom that's or that's something. What they let me yeah, right. Sometimes they let me out. They, they, had, they thought about putting a bucket a there, but they were like, no. You They're like, no, you can go. <laughs> I think um, you might I think you might have been on stage. Did you speak yesterday? I spoke also? yesterday, yeah, yeah, with Tess. What was um, your what was your talk talk about? Oh yeah, we, we were just talking about super chain and base and um how it all fits together and how it's working. And you know, one one the highlight from that that I got to share is in the last six months since Base launched, um, there's been $45 million given to Base Builders. Wow. Uh, and, wow. and that's all thanks to Optimism and the Super Chain because wow. they do Optimism retroactive public goods funding and Base is a part of the Super Chain. And so that means that anyone who builds on Base is eligible for that. And so that means if you've built on Base in the last six months, yeah. you're eligible for <laughs> retroactive public goods yeah. funding in the next round. I know, you know that has impacted some Coming of the people. Coming soon. <laughs> <laughs> in this room yeah. um, uh, and uh, is going to imp- impact way more people in the future. But like that kind of, uh, I think, proof point, because um, it's been this ethos that we've been trying to instill, which is like, if you build on base, you will be rewarded. Um, now we're actually starting to have those proof points of like the people who built on base are being massively rewarded, both from a distribution perspective, and yes. brand perspective, but also from a financial perspective. And they're actually getting the resources that they need uh, in order to keep building. And so I'd say like, if there's one goal for us at Eat Denver, it is being here on the ground with builders, listening, Amazing. understanding what they need, and then giving it to them. And this is why, so Nouns Builder is moving to base. Maybe next week, we're, we're hoping, but we're launching next week anyway. We're doing a whole <laughs> launch week, regardless of whether or not it actually technically launches, we're doing the launch week next week. So right now, right at this minute, but I don't know by the time this comes out, maybe not, uh, we're doing a prop house that if you want to help with that launch week, you've got an idea. And there's some really good entries in there yeah, already. So I saw it this excited. morning. I recasted it. I, 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 I said based because um, yeah. it is. And, uh, you know, that I feel like Nouns Builder is such a great example. And, you know, when we were going through the whole process uh, of like Nouns Builder figuring out where it was going to go, the, the one liner for me was like basis for builders and, and Nouns Builder and is Nouns the builder. ultimate builder. Absolutely. And it's enabling more builders all around the world. Um, one yeah. other fun fact about Nouns Builder, this sweater, which is probably like the so favorite based. <laughs> piece of gear I've ever had. This was, All right, you got to turn to the camera. Just turn, turn to the, the camera, camera really quick. So you yeah, can you can see, see it says super, super based. based. Yeah, um, there we go. Uh, it, it was made as a one of two by Tody Hawk. Shut up. Yeah, he made one for himself and one for me, and he just brought it to me yesterday. And Tody Hawk That's started a, the Yellow Collective. Wait a minute, wait a minute. He made you a super base 
hoodie and didn't give me one. He made one for himself. <laughs> oh, he is so going to hear it. Okay, Tony, just for I'm those sorry. who don't know, yeah, I'm he's sorry. in trouble. He's in trouble now. So, Tony's basically like my brother. Like, we, and we, a very sibling relationship. So, he's going to hear about it. Oh, yeah. And, and if you don't know, Tody, um, you know, has been one of the most epic builders in crypto for the last many years. He's run uh, the Noun Square, which has yep. done a daily yes. talk show. Yeah. For what, like 600 days 600 in a row? 600 and something days. 600 at this days point. in a yeah. row. Um, you know, like it was one of my first introductions to nouns. I mean, then on base, he started the Yellow Collective, which yep. is a nouns builder DAO. Which um, is killing it. Which is killing it. And it's supporting artists. And it's it, when I think of, when I talk about kind of the, the emerging cultural movements that are happening on base, because I think about base as a society and I think about these cultural movements that are like rising in society. Yellow Collective is one of the yep. canonical examples that I give of people who are just coming here, they're building, they're setting the culture, um, and they're creating something that I think is going to last for, for generations. I do too. It's, it's so exciting. And so the, I made the Farcaster Arch head for the Yellow Collective collection. Yeah. And it went for, it finally came off an auction. I kept like trying to manifest the stupid thing. I'm like, come on, we need this. And it finally came up and it came, it was the second highest auction besides the first one, the yeah. very first one. And it, it was amazing. And I was like so excited to see that happen. And it's been really fun to watch that play out. So I'm one of the core team on that too, of course, because I'm every freaking where um but it's been really fun to watch that all coming together so well and you actually gave them a grant yeah. before they even launched yeah. so it's like it, it's proved out it yeah. proved out like you yeah. know the builders you know well, who they are well, what we saw the way that happened was um uh we saw they were launching and they they made a governance proposal to builder now yep. say hey like help us get started with a five ETH grant yeah and i saw that and i sent it to our grants team and i was like match this it was perfect. Go. It was amazing. Like right now, we, we gave him a grand right It was away. amazing. So it's just like that sort of builder energy, people who are um, coming, who share the based ethos, who are creating culture and, and doing it with the mentality of, we know that when we make an impact, we're going to be rewarded and recognized. Yep. That's what it's all about. That Get optimistic first. taste. Get first with optimism. Right. Exactly. With optimism. And one of the other things is we do have... An, a, we're moving, there's a bunch of DAOs that are migrating over to base and we're going to have two prop houses coming up. We're going to wait a little bit until they actually move, um, but we're getting close. They're, we're working it out. Little technical difficulties. Um, not on the base side at all. <laughs> <laughs> Mostly on the DAOs have to p pass a proposal to say yeah, they're going to move. Time. It's a little, takes a, it's a process. Um, but there, we're going to have two other five ETH uh, prop houses with one ETH grants to each of DAOs that are moving to base. They're going to tell us why they should, you know, what they've been doing, yeah. what their impact is. And we're going to be having those prop houses from bases grants, which thank you so again epic. so much for that. And uh, it's, it's incredible. Prop and order is legendary <laughs> if the people don't know. Adrian's looking. I don't know. Tell me about it. Tell me more. <laughs> Literally one of the most tell legendary me people. Me and Prof, me and Prof uh, first met when Prof emailed me, I think like, what, like a year ago or was something it that like long? that? I don't it was think a long it was that time. Long. She emailed me. She was like, "Hey, I teach yeah. the blockchain and governance class at the university, Florida, I, Florida at, Gulf Coast University, Florida Gulf Coast yeah. University, and we are um, like helping people get set up with DAOs and yeah. like doing all these things. Like, do you want to be involved?" And I was yeah. like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> yeah, and the and you had te like, the team zoomed in. The team zoomed in in the fall to my class yeah. to talk about base, to talk about L2s. So it was amazing. I was just thinking, you want to maybe leave for a few minutes and Jesse and I'll just talk about how much we love you. No, no, you, we don't have time <laughs> for that. You can do that as a separate show. This is not GM Farcaster. This is, not GM, Farcaster. This this is, is GM. We like, love Prof. I love Prof. I was telling her yesterday, I'm just like so amazed working with you. Right back at you. Yeah. No, no, no. This is, okay, it's all about me. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Sorry. It's all about me right Just one thing. And I said, like, I've been on calls with her recently, and it's just like, it's, it's calls about our show, and we're doing things. And half the time, it's just her asking our, who we're talking to how she can help them. And yeah. it's just, she's one like of people the most, who might be supporting us, really. But how, but, do, we but how do we help you? you? How do we help you? How yeah. do we help you? Yeah. And, and that's what we do. Like, and I'm about to say the same thing to you in just a minute. Yeah, so yeah. how do we help base? It's the base. How do we way. help base? I mean, that's the yeah. first question that I ask every builder. I'll have a conversation with them, and then I'll be like, how can I help you? Yep. And it's uh, the thing I'll say about that question is I think it's very nounish too. It's yeah, very it's, nounish. It's very nounish. Yeah. Um, and I, I think the thing about that question is uh, even just asking it makes such a huge difference. Doesn't it? It huge. sees people. 
Especially if you're people. authentically asking. Yeah. You're, you are. You know, yeah. authentically asking, how can I how can I help you? Yeah. So that was my other thing when when we were talking about build, moving builder out to base and people asked me, Well, why base over the other options? And I said, The other options are great. I said, but you're not gonna get the level of support. And I wasn't talking financial. I was talking about you're not gonna get the amplification and the level of support and it be beyond better than base. Like because you are always there going how can I help you? What can I do? How can I amplify your message? And it's and you do it sometimes without even asking that yeah. question. You just do it. You see something and you do it. And one of those things was we got a grant. So GM Farcaster broadcasts live, streams live and on Lonely, which is on base. We drop all our NFTs. All our episodes are NFTs first. We're on chain first, on base, on Zora. And we ended up with a grant and that is huge. And that is what's funding our event tomorrow. So we're not even, it's not going in our pockets. We literally like, we're spending that whole grant tomorrow for our, the people who come and support us. We're buying them brunch and a whole, you know, we're doing karaoke brunch. I know it's crazy. But that's <laughs> what that. we're doing. I love we're doing it. tomorrow morning, karaoke brunch, car ping pong, pool tables, arcade games, and yeah. we're feeding them and we're yeah. saying, thank you. Thank you for supporting us this early because th without an audience, we don't have a show. It's just me and her on a FaceTime. I mean, like, yeah. you know, it's not, it's, it wouldn't be that fun. So it's oh. amazing. I, so I thank you for that. that. So, so, so side sponsor, you're, you're actually sponsoring tomorrow's <laughs> event without knowing it. So there we go. Yeah. We love it. Nothing, yeah. nothing else I could ask for. And it, it's again, another example of just build on base. You will be rewarded. Yeah, exactly. We That's just, it. and it's, it's yeah. a nounish thing. It's, it's a cultural thing where it's Absolutely. like you give and you do. And you trust that when you do well and you do right, uh, when you do right, you will do well. And I think that that is, um, you know, there, there's been so much, I think like in the last five years in crypto, there's been so much speculation and, you know, like hype and all these things. And I think it's made it at, at times very centered around like money and very transactional. Yeah. And I, I think one of the things that gets me most excited about what's, what feels like it's happening on Farcaster and with nouns and on base and. Um, a lot of the communities that we're part of is it it feels like it's shifting the culture is shifting yes. or has shifted back yes. into when i think about what it like originally is like you think about like early silicon valley where it's like yeah people are just building with each other and trying to help each other because they know that on the long horizon if you do good you will do well yeah and that is absolutely that's what it's all about absolutely and i i feel that so tremendously in farcaster and that's why we're building in farcaster and that's why we're building on base that's, you know, because all of that energy rolls together and it's that positivity of like, we're building the future. You know, we're not here for the short term flip. We're not here for the, you can check my wallet on that one. because I, <laughs> I ride a lot of, I round trip a lot, I round trip a lot of stuff. Um, but I'm, I'm good with that. You know, it's like, I'm here for the long term. I'm not here for the quick flip. And I yeah. think it goes to, and we don't have time to get into this because I only got one minute, but it reminds me of like read, write, own the casino yeah. versus the computer, right? Yeah. Where there's a whole group of us and they tend to gravitate to Farcaster who are here for the computer, yeah. not necessarily the casino. Yeah. Um, if the casino happens too, great, but that's not why we're here. Like we're here to build. So I just noticed your shirts. I got to yeah. get one of those shirts. Uh, yeah, I got we, one for you. you. Know, we can tell you how to get one. <laughs> I'll trade it for that sweatshirt. <laughs> I'm, no, Tony's That's getting us a sweatshirt. Yeah, no, we, Tony's we're, getting we, us a sweatshirt. We're going we're gonna to mass produce these sweaters at this point. Like, I want them. I, I need that. I need that. I have, we've got a shirt for you. Love it. Wait a minute. I thought you could only get a shirt if you come and sing a karaoke. I think I got to earn it. Here's what I, have I a, think he's going to be I'm sorry. Farcaster is proof of work. I have a confession. Farcaster is proof of work. I hate karaoke. I've never done it. <laughs> we all hate karaoke. No, it will not be filmed. It will not be good. But, but it come will on be over. fun. But it will be fun. It will be fun. And this was I not our it. idea. It came from one of I've our done, chats. I love there it. You go. Yeah, we're doing it for our audience at request. Doing it for our audience at request. So is this going to be live? It's not going to be live streamed. We're not this, live streaming. This is not GM Forecaster karaoke, karaoke live. No, not live. It, not, <laughs> I'm not going to do that to anybody. But that's how you earn a shirt tomorrow. Because we only have a few. But I, gotta I, think, I think we'll make another quest. I'll do it. We're going to give you one anyway. I'll do the karaoke at... Farcaster meetup, maybe? Will like, you be at the Farcaster meetup tomorrow night? Oh yeah, it's a it's okay. Farcaster meetup. It's also a base meetup. We're yes, gonna have a whole thing. Yep. We're, I mean, you heard it here first. Oh uh, wait a, a minute, Alpha. We have, okay. we have a Girl Scout troop Shut coming up. to uh, the Farcaster meetup uh, to sell cookies all on chain on base. Shut up! Oh my God, this is so exciting. This just uh, 
Okay. I love it. I'm, I'm going to eat a whole box it. of Thin Mints. I'm telling you right now. I am so Can't stop, won't stop. excited. That is the Girl Scouts amazing. are coming. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're also going to be here uh, tomorrow during the day, and then they'll come to the Farcaster meetup with us. Incredible. And, uh, oh, I'm yeah, so we're excited have a big now. Base crew there as well. Okay, we're going to save you a shirt. Because of the cookie, but I'm trading it for the, a box of Thin Mints. Yeah, that's, that's fine. the deal now. New deal. We need the cookie developers on our show. We need the cookie developers. We got to get the cookie developers on. We got to chat with them. Yeah, we had them amazing. on Chain Daily. It was epic. Amazing. Amazing. Well, thank you, Jesse. We, we're we we're out of time, and we know that I believe you got a shock collar, right? Your shock yeah, collar. Right there. <laughs> the, yeah, right now. Shock, yeah. <laughs> so we're going to roll in. So we're going to we're gonna say goodbye to you. We're going to yeah. welcome uh, Dwoofy and the AirStack team. They're going to come oh, yeah. on in. We're just oh, rolling. Yeah. We're, just, we're just rolling. I love we're crazy. it. This is Isn't this well, fun? Well, thank you awesome. very much. Thank, thank you so much. On. We're so I, glad you're here. I love GM Parkaster. We'll we love you. We love you, we know, we love you so much. Love Jesse. We're going to keep building. And actually, very soon, tomorrow, we're going to be announcing we're we're we have some stuff dropping on Hypersub for new sponsorships and all kinds of fun things. So oh, we're, yeah. we're moving. We're, we're adding new shows. It's going to be crazy. Oh, so, yeah. Exciting. Okay. Thanks, y'all. Right. Thank Bye. you so much. Bye. And uh, feel free to grab some noggles should you need them. <laughs>